Well, Cook County voters have some big decisions to make when it comes to the governor's race, congressional races, and now trees. There's a referendum on the ballot asking property owners to pay more for the county's forest preserves. This is the first time in almost 80 years the district is asking voters for more money. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff is asking exactly what is the money for and how much will it cost taxpayers? This is just a glimpse of the roughly 70,000 acres of Cook County Forest Preserve land. Its superintendent, Arnold Randall. This has been a conversation that's been going on for four or five years now. Is hoping Cook County voters will say yes to a property tax hike, appearing as a referendum on the ballot that would help the Forest Preserve District grow even more. But it would allow the Forest Preserve to do a whole lot more with respect to restoration, land management, fix a lot of things that need to be fixed, a lot of deferred maintenance, things like that, increase our trail system, more programs those sorts of things. The referendum asked for a yes vote for the forest preserves of Cook County. Randall says the tax increase would cost owners of a $300,000 home an extra $20 per year. A referendum is the only way for the district to get more money because it can't raise taxes on its own like a county or a city can. But with soaring inflation, are you concerned it might be a tough ask of voters. Well, we, we recognize that taxes in general are tough for, for voters, but the reality for the forest preserves is this is available to you. And, and I think during the pandemic in particular, people realized having nature available to them was really important. I think it's a reasonable request. And, and one the nonpartisan government watchdog group, the Civic Federation, supports. I can say that the Forest Preserve's finances are much better than they've been in a long time. Their operations are improved. And if that extra $20 per average homeowner is voted down. It means we'll have to make some difficult choices, frankly, on what we can do and what we can't do. That was Dana Kosloff reporting. The referendum will pass if it gets 50% plus one of the total vote.